Welcome back to this week's indicator analysis. We're going to take a look at a confirmation indicator that should be pretty easy to use and may find a place in your algorithm. All right then, let's get going. If you're just finding us for the first time, we create a short technical analysis video based on our more in-depth blog to give traders an opportunity to see the indicator in action. This provides the chance to see how the indicator reacts to price, good, bad, or indifferent. If you're wondering how we make the video, we record a few hours of market movement on the one minute chart and then speed it up by about 30,000 times. There will be times during the playback of the market video where we will pause to discuss the elements of concern to you, the trader, for consideration. We aim to point out areas where signals may provide opportunities in addition to those which may not. We'll keep it short and sweet. Please send comments, ideas, and suggestions surrounding indicator studies and analysis to stonehillindicator at gmail.com. We've received quite a few great ideas which have been added to our project board over the last few weeks. In this week's technical analysis, we're going to examine an indicator called the polychromatic momentum, which was developed by Dennis Myers in 2002. This zero cross indicator's main function is to determine the aggregate momentum of price using one signal line. For additional details, check out the blog on our website. We included the link in this video's description for your convenience. We'll start up the video for a few seconds to see what the indicator looks like. We do this to give a quick preview of what to expect. Nice and simple, right? Let's pause here for a moment. Notice that the indicator crossed and closed above the zero line for a long signal. Let's see how this plays out. Notice that after a nice move to the upside, price sharply reversed. Most likely your algorithm would have signaled an exit before the indicator crossed the zero line. After some whipsaw price action, it looked as though you were going to see a short signal. You must make sure it actually closes below the zero line. Don't jump the gun. Here is the short signal. Let's see what happens. This may have been a losing trade based on what your system told you. Had you been short, using this as an exit indicator would have gotten you out if your ATR based stop based on your risk profile did not. There are times when the market goes sideways and this indicator reacts quickly to market change. This can cause multiple signals and the main reason why having a system is key. That last short signal provided a really nice run to the short side. Those are the trades your system should have given you the level of confidence to enter. Remember friends, we provide subject matter for educational purposes, not trading advice. This technical analysis video is to help you see how this indicator moves based on price action. Try it for yourself. You may like what it does for your algorithm. We sincerely hope this was helpful. If you feel that there is value by bringing you these short videos, please consider giving us a five-star rating on Trustpilot. Your contribution helps others to find us who may be looking for trading help. Additionally, sign up for our digest as well. We're going to be putting out the next one this week. The form is on our website, and if you miss it, send an email to dan at stonehillforex.com with the title, Latest Digest Please, in the subject line. We'll get it out to you within 24 hours. We're also on Facebook, Quora, and YouTube. We've got a lot going on and plenty more to come. Visit the website and check us out. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.